Welcome to the 35th Annual Kit and Sydney Chertok Florida Native Nature Photography Contest Awards Program, a program that's created and brought to you by Orange Audubon Society and very generously co-sponsored for 20 years now by Colonial Photo and Hobby and the owners, Mike and Steve Rausch. They uh, contribute not only gift cards as part of the prize package, and that's valued at $400, but also they create large format displays of images from the contest that they select at random to use for in-store displays, making photographers rich and famous. Once the uh, displays have run, the, uh, run their time limit at Colonial Photo, then they're given to Orange Audubon Society, where we continue to use those images to promote the Sure Talk contest and also for educational purposes. The Brothers Roush have also donated generously four years to our online auction that takes place in tandem with the Sure Talk Awards program. And this year they've donated a tripod, which every photographer needs, at least one, maybe two, so at the end of the program, I'll let you know how you can go on to the online Bidding Owl website for Orange Audubon Society's online auction. We also want to thank the Tarflower Chapter of Florida Native Plant Society for generously co-sponsoring the contest again this year. They donate uh, in order to increase the youth prize package, the first through third place, but not only that, also to add fourth and fifth place money prizes for youth category entries. Tonight's presentation is a show of eligible entries in all three of the categories of the Chertok contest. We're going to start with the youth category categories, and these are entries from photographers who are 17 years old or younger. Then we will show you the novice entries that are from new and less experienced photographers. And the last show will be from the advanced, uh, advanced amateur and professional category. At the end of the shows, we're going to present, uh, announce winners and present their awards. The Church Talk Contest has a 35 year history. It's been run by volunteers all of that time. It began in 1988 as a slide competition. It was initially funded with memorial donations made in honor of Sidney Chertok, who had a passion for nature photography. His wife, Kit, who a lot of us knew, was on the board for a while, and she was instrumental in starting this contest. In the early years, she subsidized the program, and later, Orange Audubon Society, through a series of successful fundraisers, has made this now a um, a very self-sustaining contest. It's been going strong for 35 years and should last at least 35 years more. Long live the Chertok Nature Photography Contest. The contest objectives are meant to align with Orange Audubon Society's tax-exempt education and conservation purposes by seeking to create an interest in learning about and preserving Florida's native wildlife and natural places. Also, by encouraging you to get interested in nature photography and nature and doing so through responsible photography. The contest rules also are consistent with Orange Audubon Society's tax exempt goals. The subject matter has to be native to Florida. Plants and animals have to be native. The subject matter cannot contain humans or human artifacts. That goes to the natural Florida element and the subject matter cannot be excessively manipulated. In addition, all of the photos need to be taken while you have been complying with the North American Nature Photography Association's ethical field practices, and that's for, your, for the health and the safety of wildlife and wild places, and also for you. NANPA, uh, the North American Photography, Nature Photography Association promotes responsible nature photography, and so does Orange Audubon Society. 
So subject matter must be native to Florida. I often have people say to me, you know, you, you disqualified my image because of the plant, but I see that plant everywhere I go in Florida. So I figured, you know, it has to be native, right? Well, not necessarily. Uh, to further your education tonight, remember that's Orange Audubon Society's mission. We're gonna show a few images that have disqualifying elements. And I, you may be challenged to identify those bad ele uh, elements. Some are the of these uh, images were entered in the contest. So if you recognize one as being your own, um, it's not meant to embarrass by any means. In fact, some are chosen because they are just so good. We really want to share them. Um, so we're showing off your wonderful photography. And in this, at the same time, we're helping to educate. Remember, common misconception, it must be native. I see it everywhere, mm, not necessarily. So although the Sunshine State is known for its citrus crops, citrus is not native to Florida. Um, in fact, oranges were first brought to the New World in 1493 on the ships um, that were commanded by Christopher Columbus. And soon after that, by the Spanish conquistadors who brought other citrus. In this image, we have two firebush plants. We have one that's a native, one that is a cultivar. If it's in, in genetically engineered, modified in any way by humans, then it's not native. So it would not be eligible for the contest. How about this one? Do you know what this plant or plants is or are? Well, there's a plant with a bigger leaf and that's called water spangle. And water spangle just happens to be native to South America, not Florida. There's another plant with smaller leaves. See, there's the bigger leaf plant and these are the smaller leaf plants. And, and the smaller plant is duckweed and that's native to Florida. Do you know this plant? I mean, you do see this one everywhere. Birds love eating the berries of this plant. And when they eat the berries, that helps to spread the seeds and that helps to spread this exotic, invasive, very harmful to Florida environment plant, Brazilian pepper. Um, it is uh, so prevalent in some places, like when you're driving to Merritt Island, you'll see it along the shoulders of the roads and that's about all that you see. Um, it even supplants native flora, leading sometimes to the demise of native ecosystems. So it's very bad. Think before you toss a dish garden, the plants from a dish garden into your yard to mulch or compost because they might take root. And if they take root, they might take over um, like this arrowhead plant has done. And this is not native. More Brazilian pepper, like I said, it's everywhere. Um, some clues here. The common name of plants and animals sometimes suggest the true origin of that plant or animal, like Australian pine, Brazilian pepper that we just looked at, Japanese koi, K-O-I, by the way, <laughs> Peruvian primrose willow. And here's an example of Peruvian primrose willow. And also there's a honeybee in one of the images and honeybees are not native to Florida, just, just as cows and horses are not native to Florida. There's an image of a native porterweed and a non-native porterweed here for you to examine. The native has um, kind of uh, bluer, paler bluish purple flowers, and it has a more sprawling growth uh, pattern. So it's closer to the ground, whereas the non-native is more uh, lighter. It's more like a reddish purple flower and it grows more upright, um, more erect, more tall. Old world rats. Well, gee, be sure you measure the tail and compare that to the length of the body. If it's longer, then it's an old world rat and you would not want to enter that non-native rat into the contest. Native mallards, yes. In Florida, we sometimes do get native mallards, but they are, they are occasionally migrating through in the winter 
hence they would not be breeding here. So if your image has mallard chicks, then you know that that is feral mallard. They do not that breed here. They are not native to Florida. Black swans are native to Australia. Tilapia are not native. They are native to Africa. In Florida, this fish uh, ironically was introduced uh, to help curtail invasive aquatic plants and now it ha itself has become invasive. Another contest requirement is that images cannot contain humans or human artifacts. So you would watch for things like mowed grass, that's an artifact. Um, and not only in landscapes, you would watch for mowed grass in some uh, wild areas too, because um, the roads in these wild areas may have shoulders that are maintained by mowing the grass, keeping hedges and limbs trimmed, trees cut. Um, more mowed grass. And also, you know, humans and human artifacts are sometimes difficult to, cons to discern. If we can discern when we're doing the screening, then we may eliminate the image from the contest. So some are difficult, some not so difficult, like this cross that's man-made wooden cross. You want to check for specks in landscapes like this because the speck might end up being a boat or a fisherman or a bridge. You want to check for leg bands that are used for conservation research on imperiled birds. Those are human artifacts. And so is contrail up above there uh, produced by aircraft. Some artifacts, as I said, are difficult to discern. Um, can you find the disqualifying elements here? Well, there are two. There is a roadbed, man-made, and also there are tire tracks that seem to be from bicycles. The acrobatic bobcats are native to Florida. This is a hispid cotton rat and it is a native to Florida. But what is wrong with this image? What, 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 what can it be? The gravel, human artifact. And Pink flip-flops and matching toenail polish still are considered human artifacts for this contest. These and other discernible artifacts like footprints in the sand, uh, human shadows, power poles, roadbeds, beer cans along the waterway, they're not uh, allowed in the contest. Images must also adhere to truth in nature standards. They uh, can't be excessively manipulated. The subject matter should depict what would occur naturally in the environment. For example, this has excessive color and texture. The manipulation goes well beyond truth and nature standards. And this technique does not represent what would be found naturally uh, in nature. Uh, not even, I think, during hurricanes and tornadoes. So judges are drawn to images and they tend to select images that show very creative composition, unique perspectives, they catch the light just right, especially in the eye of the subject matter. They refer to that as catch light. They love that. It captures the true color and sometimes tells an entire story in one single frame. The next examples are of techniques that are exceptional for those reasons. They're good examples to, to model yourself, your own photography on. All of these are past Chertok winning images and they grace this year's cover of the annual brochure. And they were photographed by Maria Cavan, Ma Marina Scar, Lillian Frazier, and Daryl Roston. I hope you found that in introductory section of the program informative. And now I wanna take just a moment to thank uh, the people who helped make this possible. It does take a little village uh, to run this event. And so thanks are always extended to the Chertok Contest and Screening Committee. Two of them, Mary Kime and Randy Snyder, 
have been on this committee since day one, since 1988, remember? When the Church Talk Contest began. When the screeners are stumped, we send our, what we call Church Talk puzzlers out to other experts. Um, they might include botanists like E.T. And if E.T. doesn't phone home, then we might contact Catherine Bowman, another botanist who helps us every year. Bird nerds like Bruce Anderson and Paul Huber and other professionals like Dr. Buck Snelson, he's a mollusk and fish expert. If these judges who are experts in the natural spiel are asked to judge the contest, please know that they are not used as experts for screening purposes. Thanks also go to this year's judges. The winners are selected by a panel of three independent judges who are professionals in the fields of art, nature and photography. And this year, the judges were Susan German Francis, Bruce Anderson, and Wayne Bennett. Our artist judge, Susan, is a photographer as well, and her visual communications degree is the basis for her artistic photographic expression. Her work is a combination, oh, excuse me, her work is a combination of photography, something new to me called scanography and fine art that often incorporates the use of painted backgrounds and textures. As a, as a teacher, she offers positive critiques that help novice photographers develop an artistic eye to make their images more fine art worthy. She does this through the use of composition, color, and light. You can visit Susan's Instagram site to see how she incorporates fine art and photography photography into her body of work. Bruce Anderson is the bird aficionado that other expert birders call when they have puzzlers. He has traveled to all continents except Antarctica in quest of life birds on a list that now exceeds 3,000. He earned a degree in biology. He did graduate study work in zoology, concentrating on birds, go figure, he co-authored the Comprehensive State Bird Book, The Bird Life of Florida, that should be in the library of every serious birder and naturalist in Florida. Wayne Bennett is an award-winning nature photographer whose images have been recognized by the likes of Nature's Best Photography Magazine and displayed at the, at the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. He is a charter member of NANPA, remember the North American Nature Photography Association, and a past president of Orlando Camera Club. He continues to teach nature photography, give presentations and lead workshops. You can visit his website shown here to enjoy the incredible nature photography of Wayne Bennett. Thank you so much, Susan, Bruce, and Wayne for your contribution to this contest. And thank you, photographers who participated this year. We look forward to the Chertuck Awards show every year and appreciate you for making it possible. It wouldn't happen without you. And now let's sit back and enjoy some of Florida's native nature as interpreted beautifully by entries in the 35th annual Kit and Sydney Chertuck Nature Photography Contest. The images will be presented randomly I'm going to say their titles, name the species, and tell you where they were photographed if all of that information is provided. And with regard to titles, I do confess that sometimes I take artistic liberties. <laughs> so there. We'll begin with the youth category. Enjoy the first show. This is Drinking Kite, Swallowtailed Kite. Eagle Nestoration, Bald Eagle, South Lake Kapapka. Sun-Kissed Sparrow, in need of a pedicure. Grasshopper Sparrow, Alachua. Owl Repose, Barred Owl, St. John's River. A majestic American White Pelican. With some black-bellied whistling ducks in the background there. This is taken in Melbourne. Mr. Mohawk, Great Blue Heron, Orlando Wetlands Park. 
an Anhinga trio, Anhinga nestlings, St. John's River. Among the wildflowers, great blue heron, T.M. Godwin Wildlife Management Area, Spoonbill Stickup, Roseate Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands, The One-Handed Catch, Osprey with a Black Crappie, Blue Cypress Lake, Vampire Osprey, Osprey with Shad, Lake Eustace. I did not know that vampires came out in the daytime. A thoughtful scrub jay, Florida scrub jay, Crookshank Sanctuary. Whistling duck liftoff, black-bellied whistling duck, Orlando wetlands. And just before the strike, reddish egret, Fort DeSoto. That was really awesome youth category. Now, please enjoy the second feature, the novice category. Starting with kicking dirt and laying eggs, soft shell turtle, a Florida soft shell turtle, St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge, American Avocet, Merritt Island. Hey down there, are you looking at me? Little Blue Heron, Merritt Island. Easter Sunday Manatee, Florida Manatee, Edgewater. Green Heron with two-toned toes, Lake Jessup. Eastern Gray Squirrel, Wekiwa Spring State Park. The Toe Dipper, Swallow-tailed Kite. Snack Time, Yellow-throated Warbler and an Itsy Bitsy Spider, Circle B Bar Reserve. Modeling, Sandhill Cranes with Colt, St. Cloud. Peekaboo, Great Horned Owls, Winter Garden. The Gift, Swallow-tailed Kite with Nuptial Offering. Hooded Merganser after the storm, Castleberry. A reddish egret silhouette. All puffed up, but nowhere to go. Red Knot, Fort DeSoto. Siblings with faces only a mother could love. Wood stork nestlings, Wakota Hatchie wetlands. Purple Gallinule, Lake Apopka. The Secret Garden and Mystical Great Egrets, Craft Azalea Garden. Lunch, if only I can swallow Kermit. White Ibis and American Bullfrog, Hickory Hammock Neighborhood. Clowning Around, Reddish Egret, Merritt Island. Fighting in Flight, Northern Flickers, Pine Flatwood Trail, Merritt Island. Unique neighbors, green heron and spider, spider, spider web. Hmm, the spider is missing. Uh, do you reckon that the neighbor might eat the neighbor? Maybe it's a little jungle out there. Ibis with the bluest eye, white ibis, Lake Davis. A crab and coon, raccoon, St. Mark's National Wildlife Refuge. American kestrel with a belly button. No, wait, that's the left foot tucked into the chest feathers to look like a belly button. Merritt Island. On the lookout, blue winged teal, Merritt Island. My, what big feet you have. Purple Gallinule, Lake Jessup. A monarch caterpillar, Orlando. Splish, splash, swallowtail kite with dainty talons. These talons are custom designed to catch small prey. This is my lunch, painted bunting, Circle B Bar Reserve. Adaptation, snail kite, St. Cloud. Taking a drink, Eastern Gray Squirrel, Gemini Springs. On the hunt, Peregrine Falcon. With talons custom designed for hunting and swinging a golf club, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Sunrise Sandhill Crane. Plover at sunset, semi-palmated plover, Fort DeSoto. The last sunset 
of 2022, Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge. Christmas lichen on oak trees, Jacksonville Arboretum. Good morning. This is a great egret youngster. Looks like he's looking down at the photographer, Craft Azalea Garden. Mother's firstborn. Great egret with chick and eggs, Gatorland. Yellow Delight, Eastern Meadowlark, show Overstreet Landing. Showing its true colors, Red Shouldered Hawk, Orlando Wetlands. Checking everything out, American Five Line Skink Mead Botanical Garden. The Sentinel, Black Vulture, Oakland Nature Preserve. Very good. Gray Catbird, St. Mark's. Osprey, increasing altitude, winter garden. I'm out of here, snowy egret, Merritt Island. An American alligator, Lake Jessup. Don't forget, look up, pine trees, moss park. I am beautiful. Painted bunting, circle B bar reserve. An ibis portrait, white ibis, Gemini Springs. Surveying the land, Great Blue Heron, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Pretty in Pink, Roseate Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands. Well, now this is a family rated show, so this must just be piggyback riding. Great Eagles, Wakotahatchee Wetlands. North Florida Beach Dunes with Deer in Palmetto, Top Sail Hill Preserve. A Florida icon, great egret, craft azalea garden. Are you calling me? American Kestrel, Hickory Hammock neighborhood. Easy peasy breezy. Long billed dowagers, Merritt Island. An inquisitive scrub jay, Crookshank Sanctuary. More than a mouthful, great blue heron with fish. Mikasa, not Tsukasa. Pileated woodpecker and eastern gray squirrel, apparently in a dispute over nest cavities. Black bellied whistling ducks, winter garden. Fish, that's what's for lunch. Snowy egret, Merritt Island. Osprey, Lake Jessup. The watchful eye, red shouldered hawk, Tremble Park. Get in my belly. Snail kite, eating a snail. Circle B Bar Reserve, An Apple a Day, Limpkin, St. Cloud, Wren Portrait, Carolina Wren, Castleberry, Pretty in Pink, Rosiette Spoonbill, Black Point Wildlife Drive, The Fulvus three, Trio, Fulvus Whistling Ducks, It's the Karate Kid, Burrowing Owls, Cape Coral, Hungry Heron, Great Blue Herons, Wakotahatchee Wetlands. After the Storm, Great Egret, Craft Azalea Garden. My Wing, Palm Warbler, Hickory Hammock Neighborhood. I got it, Mom. Red Shouldered Hawks, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Dragonfly Encounter, Halloween Pennant, Orlando Wetlands. A Menagerie. Brown pelican, black skimmers, and gulls. Oh my, Fort DeSoto. The fledgling, little blue heron, sometimes called a calico heron, Lake Davis. Tricolor foggy morn, tricolored heron, St. Mark's. An immature bald eagle, Lake Apopka. Taking off, snowy egret, Merritt Island. Bald Eagle, Lake Jessup. The Sunset Visitor, American Alligator, Tremble Park. Busted, Pied Build Grebe, Circle B Bar Reserve. Layin' Low, American Alligator, Orlando Wells. Dinner is served, Pileated Woodpeckers, Mead Botanical Garden. Just Hanging Out, Blue Dasher, Boca Raton. Mom's back, yay! And Hingo's, Vieira Wetlands. Let it go.
bald eagle and turkey vultures, Merritt Island. Pelicans, pelicans everywhere, American white pelicans, Scrub Ridge Trail, Merritt Island. Yikes, I'm visible, Wilson Snipe, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. A raft of mallards, Lake Davis. And last but not least, a tiny nest, ruby-throated hummingbird in American sweet gum, Mead Botanical Garden. Oh, that was so good. Nice job, novice category. And our last feature is the Advanced Amateur Professional category. Please enjoy the show. Breathtaking colors, male painted bunting, Orlando. Four, three, two, one. We have a liftoff. Black skimmer chick, Lido Beach. The pink cape, Rosie at Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands. Manatee Dreams, Florida Manatee, Homosassa Springs. The Emergence, Northern Gannet, Sebastian Inlet, State Park. The Big Stretch, Eastern Meadowlark. Limkin and Snail, Orlando Wetlands. Don't Worry, Beach Happy. Don't Worry, Beach Happy. Reddish Egret, Fort DeSoto. It's breakfast time, Sandhill Cranes, Orlando Wetlands. The Last Tickle, Great Blue Heron with American Alligator Appetizer. Circle B. Reflection, Rosie at Spoonbill, Merritt Island. The Three Musketeers, Great Egret Chicks, Gatorland. Least Bitter, Wakota Hatchie. Morning Rush Hour Routine. American White Pelicans, Fort DeSoto. And what are you looking at? Wood Duck, Loxahatchee National Wildlife Refuge. Green Winged Teal, Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. Escargot on the fly. Snail Kite, Lake Toho. Oh, gosh, it's exhausting being an owl. This is a yawning, burrowing owl, Brian Piccolo Park. I'm digging it. Black skimmer chick, St. Petersburg. Aren't I handsome ladies, American goldfinch? Oviedo. Checking into the Mangrove Hotel, rosy at spoonbills, snowy egrets, and white ibis in Mangrove, Black Point Wildlife Drive. Striding with attitude, Willet, Fort DeSoto. Lunch is served, American Kestrel, Joe Overstreet Road. I ordered the whole fish. Ospreys, Fort DeSoto. Tufted titmouse on bare branches, East Lake Toho. Woodstork, Orlando Wetlands. A great catch, tricolored heron, Black Point Wildlife Drive. Splashes of pink, roseate spoonbill, Black Point Wildlife Drive. Black skimmer with chick, Lido Beach. Osprey portrait, Blue Cypress Lake. Snail kite in the afternoon, Emeralda Marsh. The moment of truth. Snowy Egret with Fish, Merritt Island. A singing vireo, and this would be a white-eyed vireo. American Coop, Common Gallinule, and Tricolored Heron with Burr Marigold, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Who ghost there, Northern Harrier, Circle B Bar Reserve. Eye to Eye, Bald Eagle, Joe Overstreet. Greetings, reddish egret. They are very quirky birds. Honeymoon Island State Park. Safe and warm, Sandhill Crane with Colt, Groveland. Great egret surfing the wind, Emeralda Marsh. The karaoke singer, yellow rumped warbler. Mom and baby gator, American alligators, Arthur R. Marshall. Lone Cypress with Clouds, Lake Norris, 
Serenity, Northern Gannet, Sebastian Inlet State Park. Reddish Egret at Sunrise, Merritt Island. Duking it out, Bald Eagle and Sandhill Crane, Lake Toho. Flower Pond, two Sandhill Crane colts at Circle B Bar Reserve. A feeding frenzy, cattle egrets, adults and fledgling and willow, Sarasota. The girls just love this tail action. Hooded merganser, Oviedo. Snatching an apple snail, snail kite with apple snail. He's a little rough around the edges, just having a bad hair day. Osprey, Newton Park. Strike. Tricolored heron, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Posing for tourists. Brown pelican, Florida Keys. Roseate Spoonbill, Orlando Wetlands. Sibling rivalry or dirty dancing? You decide. Sandhill Crane Colts, Orlando Wetlands. Dragonfly Carryout, Red Shouldered Hawk with Dragonfly, Orlando. Skimming for dinner, Black Skimmer, Lido Beach. Hungry Spoonies, Roseate Spoonbills, St. Augustine. Eagle Landing, Bald Eagle, South Lake Apopka. Great Blue Heron Waiting, Merritt Island. The Prince and the Pear, Common Yellow Throat on Prickly Pear, Merritt Island. A Grouch in the Ground, a Grouchy Burrowing Owl. Blue Wing Teal, Orlando Wetlands. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Bobcat Kitten. Circle B Bar Reserve. The Flying Lesson, Sandhill Crane and Colt, Orlando Wetlands. Slumbering, Black Skimmers, Indian Rocks Beach. Locked on target. Locked on target. Really focus. Don't take your eye off the ball. Osprey, Sebastian Inlet. It's a beautiful day. Flamingo, Sarasota Jungle Gardens. The Evening Dance, Tricolored Heron, Champions Gate. Owlets, Great Horned Owlets, Lake Worth. A Captive Audience, American White and Brown Pelicans. Fort DeSoto. The Show Off, Purple Gallinule, Wakota Hatchie Wetlands. Great Egret at Sunrise, Merritt Island. Come on, App. Me, bro, just come at me. Come on, I dare you. Just cross over that line. Bald Eagle and Sandhill Crane, Lake Toho. What's for dinner? Greater yellow legs with shrimp or DeSoto. Sunset wing test, black skimmer chick, St. Petersburg. I'm far from the sea, but I'm still having fun. Caspian turn. You'll notice that the Caspian has that fat red orange bill. This is taken at Orlando Wetlands. The Curtsy, Wood Stork, Brandon Rookery. Perched, Barred Owl, Orlando Wetlands. Mm, it's just a bit rubbery, but, but real tasty. Ruddy Turnstone with a Portuguese man o' war for lunch. Fort DeSoto. Black Skimmer. Black Point Wildlife Drive. Surfing for fish, White Ibis, Anna Maria Island. Sandhill Crane with Chick. Orlando Wetlands. Mini Me, Pileated Woodpeckers, Mead Botanical Garden. Osprey Hovering, Winter Garden. Try, oh, excuse me. This is how you eat a sea urchin. American Oyster Catchers, Fort DeSoto. Tricolored Heron in Breeding Plumage, Orlando Wetlands. I kidnapped an apple snail. This is a snail kite, Lachua Trail, Gainesville. Bald Eagle Fishing, Orlando Wetlands. Open Door, Eastern Screech Owl, Clearwater. Light Path, 
Little Blue Heron, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Are you mocking me, Northern Mockingbird? The master of ceremonies with a really, really big microphone. Painted bunting, Bell Isle, Bell Glade, excuse me. Cypress Reflections, Blue Cypress Lake. Well, and now let me stop you right there. Tom and Gallinules, Merritt Island. American Avocets, Merritt Island. A Gallinules Demise, Bald Eagle with Gallinule, Lake Toho. Back Off, Burrowing Owl in a Defensive Mode, Brian Piccolo Park. The Sunset Siesta, Eastern Screech Owl, Clearwater. A Raft on a Raft, American Coots, Orlando Wetlands. Steppin' in the Surf, Sanderling, Fort DeSoto. The Sentinel, Red-Shouldered Hawk, Orlando Wetlands. Effervescence, What You Drink After Eating Sea Urchins. Agmont Key, American Oyster Catcher. And Hinga, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. And you think you have wrinkles. This is the wise, wrinkled American white pelican, Lake Morton. A tiny dancer, Sandhill Crane Colt, Orlando Wetlands. Sunrise Osprey, Newton Park. Bald Eagle in the afternoon, Winter Garden. The Reach, Florida Red Bellied Turtle and Spatterdock, Everglades National Park. Fulvous Whistling Ducks, Going Their Separate Ways, Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. Normal is so boring, Great Blue Heron, Newton Park. Flight Through Cypress, Barred Owls, Hickory Point Park. Newbies, Model Ducklings, Champion Skate. Juvenile black-crowned night heron and pond apple, peaceful waters, a royal romance. So maybe this is King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla, or just plain royal terms, Egmont Key State Park. A red-bellied woodpecker excavating a nest cavity, Orlando Wetlands. Liftoff, bald eagle, Lake Toho. A stick. For the nest, snail kite, Lake Kissimmee. Just a pickin' and a grinning, blue winged teal. This is the Drake, Merritt Island. Snail hunting, snail kite, Lake Marion. Tri colored heron, Black Point Wildlife Drive. Spoonies in the sticks, roseate spoonbills, Orlando wetlands. And the sourpuss, Bur burring owlet, Cape Coral. Okay, yeah, that was the end of an awesome show. We hope that you enjoyed all three features. Uh, magnified a thousand times. Okay, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. And I'm sorry to make you wait a little longer. These awards are going to be presented by award type, starting with honorable mentions and working their way up from fifth, fourth, third, second, and first place. And then each award level will be announced by category. First, we'll start with the youth, the novice, and then out, and then the advanced. The first awards are going to be honorable mention, and each winner is going to receive a ribbon from Orange Audubon Society to commemorate their achievement tonight. And the honorable mentions in the youth category, the first one goes to Ethan Landreville from Melbourne for Thoughtful Scrub Jay. Matthew Chen from Windermere for Whistling Duck Liftoff. Matthew Chen again from Windermere for Vampire Osprey. Lauren Chen 
for Anhinga Trio. And the last one goes to Ethan Landreville from Melbourne for Majestic White Pelican. Honorable mentions in the novice category go to Beck Burke Stresser from Winter Garden for Osprey Increasing Altitude. Donald Martin from Melbourne for Good Morning, Great Egret Chick. Heather Earl from Winter Haven for Busted, Pied Build Grebe with Shrimp. Lucy Golubieski for Reddish Egret Silhouette. Melissa Erdos from Winter Garden for Peekaboo Great Horned Owls. Katrin Halinga from Orlando for All Puffed Up, Red Knot. And the last honorable mention in the novice category goes to Heather Earl again for Snack Time, Yellow Throated Warbler. Now, honorable mentions in the advanced category go to Mark Hainan from Groveland for Flight Through Cypress, Barred Owls. Carol Darling from Cocoa Beach for a Moment of Truth, Snowy Egret. Dan Addison from Orlando for Splashes of Pink, Roseate Spoonbill. Amber Favorite from Winter Garden for Don't Worry, Beach Happy. Reddish Egret. Carol Smith from Sacramento, California, excuse me, sipping in the surf, supping in the surf, sandaling. Carol Darling from Cocoa Beach again for Emergence, Northern Gannet. Daryl Rostin from DeLand for Reddish Egret at Sunrise. Ration Chen from Windermere for the Pink Cape, Roseate Spoonbill. Tim Barker from Orlando for Black Skimmer Chick. Daryl Lawson from Deland again for American Avocets. And the last honorable mention in this category goes to Marina Scar from Sarasota for Sourpuss, Burrowing Owlet. And I'd like you to remember all honorable mentions and first through fifth place images, all the winners vie for the honor of gracing the next cover of Orange Audubon Society's annual brochure. But all entries, whether they win anything or not, all, entry, all um, entries vie for selection by Colonial Photo and Hobby to be enlarged and put in a store display. So the fifth place winner in the youth category is going to win a ribbon, a $20 ca uh, combined cash prize from Orange Audubon Society and Tarflower Chapter of Florida Native Plant Society. And the fifth place winner is Ethan Landerville and his image just before the strike. Now, fourth place winner will receive a ribbon, a $30 combined cash prize from Orange Audubon Society and Tarflower. And that winner is Ethan Landerville for Sunkissed Sparrow. The third place winner in the youth category receives a $10 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby, a combined $40 cash prize from Orange Audubon and Tarflower. And that winner is Matthew Chen from Windermere for Spoonbill Stickup. The third place winner in the novice category, oh, excuse me, the novice and advanced categories both actually received a $25 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby and a $50 cash prize from Orange Audubon Society. And the novice winner is Jean Polarolo for the image, easy peasy breezy, long bill dowagers. And the third place winner in the advanced category is Melody Roberts for Morning Routine, American White Pelicans. Second place, youth category, receives a red ribbon, a $15 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby, 
and a $60 combined crash, cash prize from Orange Audubon and Tarflower. And the award goes to Lauren Chan for the one-handed catch, Osprey with Black Crappie. The second place winner in the novice and advanced categories receives a red ribbon, a $50 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby, and a $100 cash prize from Orange Audubon Society. And that winner is Scott Ball from Tallahassee for Tricolor Foggy Morning, Tricolor Hero. And the second place winner in the advanced category goes to David Rose, who is the boy pictured sort of on the right, not the bison. And his image was Royal Romance, Royal Turn in Rocky. Now the first place winners, the youth category receives a blue ribbon, a $25 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby, and a $100 combined cash prize from Orange Audubon and Tarflower. And that winner is Lauren Chen, first place for Drinking Kite, Swallowtail Kite. And the first place winner in the novice category and in the um, advanced category, each will receive a blue ribbon and a $100 gift card from Colonial Photo and Hobby and a $200 cash prize from Orange Audubon Society. And the winner in the novice category is Jean Polarolo for Clowning Around Reddish Egret. So quirky. And the first place in the advanced category goes to Marina Scar from Sarasota for Sunset Siesta Eastern Screech Owl. Wow, we congratulations to every Chertok winner this year. Thank you so much. And thanks to all of the photographers who entered. Again, you're the winner. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have the Chertok Nature Photography Contest Award Show. And we look forward to seeing all of your 2024 Chertok entries. I hope that you enjoyed the show tonight. And I hope that if you did, you'll want to support this program and the other programs, classes, um, and offerings that Orange Audubon brings to you. And you can do that by joining, becoming an Audubon member, by volunteering your time to help us, and contributing um, financially at this website. And you can also uh, support Orange Audubon Society and Sure Talk and other programs by participating in the online auction that's going on right now. Tomorrow is the last day. The bidding runs until 7 p.m. tomorrow. So check it out, biddingowl.com. Lots of great things that you just need to have. So to everyone, thank you. Um, stay safe, stay well and put it on your calendar, June the 20th, 2024, when we'll see you in person or online or both for the 36th annual Chertok Photo Contest. Good night.